Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Seni, and this video is a short summary of how the Ghanaian students in Morocco celebrated the 66th Independence Day of Ghana. And um, buckle up, guys, this one you're going to laugh. So the event started with two of our finest comrades welcoming embassy officials with our traditional Adua dance. So after the dance, another comrade was invited to start the event with a word of prayer. And we were all expecting, oh God, we thank you for today, take charge, you know. But the prayer he gave us, <laughs> oh, you have to hear it for yourself. Wait, what? It's a prayer of Jebe. It's a prayer of sin, passive, passive. Let us pray. Lord, make an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let him sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O oh, Divine Master, grant that I may not so much see to be consoled, as to console, to be understood, as to be understood, we are part of it is in dying. So after the prayer, the host welcomed the embassy official officially into the event, then called upon the president, Ms. Brianna Lamte, to give us the opening remarks. <laughs> As you rightly heard, her opening remarks very solid, inspiring even, if I might add, and reminding us of the importance of having events like this once in a while as a community. After she gave her opening remarks, we went on to sing the national anthem that was sung by DeRoy. Normal national anthem. The way they flexed and slid the anthem, you have to hear. He had that national anthem was given. It wasn't the one we were singing in primary school. So fast forward, the consular from the embassy that graced our event was invited to give a speech. And as we all know, the community is mourning because we just lost one of our ex-presidents. The consular rightly spoke on it briefly and we paid our respects as a community with a moment of silence. Uh, before I say the few words I've been invited to say, I would want us to be upstanding and to observe a moment of silence for our brother who 
departed about three weeks um, ago. Mr. Alice who I believe was a former president of the After we paid our respects, the consular went ahead to address other issues in the Ghanaian community, such as how the student body are divided most of the times, especially when decisions concerning the community is to be taken. He also went ahead to talk about the importance of mutual respect and tolerance for one another, even if you do not agree with the opinion of another. He also said we should not take for granted the opportunities we have been given to study here, not just as students, but as people capable of building lifelong lasting relations with one another, born of respect and tolerance. And as we always say, you do not know who your helper will be, so it's best to treat everyone with respect. So today, as we attempt to celebrate Ghana, it shouldn't just be for a day, it should be an agenda that even through us, Ghana shall be celebrated. I could see the student front was looking a bit divided. The division, no matter what your differences are, is only going to hurt your own future and what you can do for Ghana. You always want to ask yourself, out of all the people in Ghana, how come it is those of you here who found yourself here at this point in time, is there any significance to it? If you miss that point, you may miss a potential destiny help. Those of you on longer programs, probably post Morocco, you may not even have the appetite or the space for more education, which means this cycle of life ends. So if you spend, let's say, seven, eight years here, and you leave, and you don't have any ally, collaborator for the future, you have missed a great opportunity. So let's be united. Then together, let us brighten the corner where we are. We are not here just as students. We are here as ambassadors of Ghana, and as even potential employers. What you have seen, what you have experienced, even in Morocco, should allow you to dream and dream bigger than long live Kassam, long live Ghana, God bless us all. Thank you. After the consular spoke, Dior was called upon again to grace us with another one of his wonderful music. And oh, just so you know, it's a French song. He wrote it himself from A to Z. After the relaxing yeah. song given to us by Deroy, students were called upon to give a play on, on an act behind the independence, how the independence came about, the current situation in Ghana, and, and the things we can do to better ourselves as individuals and help the nation as a whole. And um, buckle up, guys, it was very confrontational. They are no guy. 
and you represent it in the fire. This so what are we supposed to do now? This is quite agitating. We need to liberate our people now. <laughs> The next agenda on the list was students were challenged to mention all the regions we had in Ghana. And students who were able to do that were given cash prizes and other prizes like free airtime. Is it Bono in the house? You have Bono region and you have a half. Bono East and sometimes. Yeah, that's that's You've done very well. You've done very well. And now you can ask me for a bonus question. For a bonus question. Yeah. So, uh, Savannah, Savannah. Uh, Northern West, and uh, Northern East. Western North East. Western North. Okay, I think I I you all will try your basic math. I'll mention all 16 of them. <laughs> Ashanti region, okay, and central region. No, the, 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 new the, the new one, the new one. <laughs> the new one. The new one. <laughs> no, we are now for it. But I. And after that very wonderful session, our precious financial secretary, Ms. Chikosera Mansa, was called upon to give us a brief summary of how a lot of us Ghanaians we think in relation to how we always think we are going to find greener pastures on other people's land. In fact, I don't want to even summarize. You have to hear the song for yourself. In all things, let us speak to ourselves first. I believe that we've got all the richest gifts in this world that God can give us, for God can give us honey and no clothes on our land. We shouldn't say that grass is green at their feet, so we have to go there. But grass is literally greener at our feet. We have got all the richest gifts. Others haven't got half of our gifts. If we want to impact a change, if, if we want to see the change that is happening in the world, then I believe that it has to start from us. Because I believe in 15 years, 20 years, it is you and I who will be in their position. I strongly believe Brian is going to be the president of Ghana. And who knows? Yes, because that is what I believe in. Kudra is going to be the best architect of Ghana. Esther is going to be the best man in the house. We are all going to be where they are right now. So if we want to see a change, if we want to see something change, whatever thoughts we have in our mind right now, to, to 
see them in the next year. I believe that we have to start it now. We have to do it now. And in doing all this, we shouldn't rely on our own mentality. We shouldn't rely on our own power. There is someone who brought us here, and that person is God. If anything, we should go to him. We should pray to God. We should look up to God. And I believe that the Ghana we are hoping for, the Ghana we want to see, the Ghana we want to see in 2050, it starts from you and I, and we can make it. Thank you. And after that very inspiring and uplifting message given to us by Ms. Chico, Mr. Seth was called upon to give us the closing remarks. And you know, after closing remarks, the item 13 comes next. And I got it all on camera. I don't want to miss that part. No one's in your gratitude to God Almighty for granting us life to be actually be here to be again. And also to Honorable Mr. Ben Parsi for gracing this uh, occasion. I thank you all for, for actually taking time to come and share in our joy of our motherland. And um, I hope that though these sacrifices to be here will actually be impacted by the, the independence message we received from Mr. Ben Quantin and we have a wonderful stay in, in Morocco and I wish you guys all the best and have a nice evening. Thank you. Thank you. So for the refreshments, what did we eat? I know a lot of people are wondering, well, we had the cupcakes, red, yellow, green, signifying the colors in the Ghana flag. We had real pepper hot gizzards we had pies we, we had a lot of drinks for refreshments and mm, another very wonderful part was the fruit salad that fruit salad was giving me life in all this event was a very memorable one it was funny it was inspiring it, it was motivating i really enjoyed the program and if you didn't come then sis then brother you missed you missed out on a whole lot. Kudos to the president, to the vice president, to the financial secretary, to all the executives of GASAM for coming together and planning this very wonderful experience for us. I don't know why we don't do this very often, but we have to do this more often. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And until the next video, it's me, Senny, and I'm out.